Okay, hey. Um, this video is also, of course, about the um, dimensions, specifically the fifth dimension. Um, so I'm going to ask you the difference in dimensions. Before I get into the actual understanding of dimensions, and again, this is my understanding. This is nobody else's. I'm pretty sure some people are going to disagree, but this is my understanding of dimensions from meditations and my studies. Um, when you deal with different dimensions you, and different paradigms, you have to understand that you're dealing with the mind and consciousness. So with that, while you're dealing with different dimensions, you're still going to be here on this earth. Um, when you, you do with the third dimension, because a lot of people, and, and this is a little controversial because a lot of people think we skipped the fourth dimension, but we didn't. Um, when you deal with the third dimension, first of all, everybody starts dealing with the third dimension because you're born here. And that's basically just your instinct to survive. And that's not bad. While we're here on this earth, the body needs to eat, the body needs to sleep, the body needs a place to rest comfortably. That's just survival mode. The only thing is with survival mode, we're reacting to stuff around us as opposed to um, creating stuff around us. It's not a bad thing. Again, it's not a bad thing because sometimes things happen where we have to react. So we need that survival mode. But we're not supposed to stay in survival mode as far as reacting all the time because we're always surviving in one form or another. Um, as long as we're in this earth, we're always going to be in survival mode. It's just levels to it. And we always need that survival mode in order to, uh, or that third dimension on the creek because everything that's birthed is birthed physically into the third dimensional plane. So we have that. Some people are still stuck in it. Some people have moved on. Um, the next dimension is the fifth dimension. I'm sorry, the fourth dimension, which a lot of people think we skipped. Um, Planet-wise, we didn't skip. We had a big movement of inventions. That was the fourth dimension. That was creation. Um, the fourth dimension deals with, you know, just creating, 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 creating. And some people are in there now. I'm in between fourth and fifth dimension myself. Uh, and with that, that's just basically creation mode, where now you're not so much reacting to your environment, you're creating um, your environment. You're creating life the way you want. You're conscious of your, you're now becoming conscious of your thoughts, and you understand consciously that your thoughts dictate the world around you. Your thoughts dictate your perspective. Your perspective um, will dictate how the world reacts to the energy that you give off. Because it still all goes back to you and all goes back to self knowledge. So, once, oh, I hate dirty nails. It drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, so, do I have a, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm clean my nails while I'm sitting here because I hate dirty nails. Um, what was I on? Fourth dimension? Okay. So, with the fourth, fourth dimension being creating, now we're going to go into the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is, um, Basically, a lot of people tap into it, but a lot of people don't stay in it. Because the fifth dimension really deals with seeing different possible realities. And once you're able to see different possible realities, you're able to see, um, one, when to create what, or able to decide if you want to create it, if that's the reality you want to participate in. And for those for those who understand it, that I work with the fifth dimension, they're able to see... Um, not only they're able to see different perspectives, um, they're able to look at life in different lights. Um, some perspectives are that some people deal with from a racist perspective, from a um, Illuminati perspective, from and these are more of the um, well, I'm not even going to say the negative because that, again, that depends on the conversation that or the emotions that you attach to these specific uh, perspectives. Um, from the hippie perspective, from the um, African American perspective, from the Hispanic perspective, from the European perspective, these are all just different perspectives. But when you deal with the fifth dimension, do you understand that these are just different perspectives and you can choose which perspective you want to partake in. And in particular that you decide what you want to create in order to be more involved in this perspective or what you want to create to back yourself off of this perspective. That's what the fifth dimension is, it's just be able to see in the different perspectives. It's be able to also be see between um between times, in a way, uh, the fifth dimension does a lot with you know, on, in a sense, time traveling, but it's mental, not necessarily physical. Um, it's mental, and this is where you start dealing with your um, a lot of your schizophrenics. They jumped into the fifth dimension either too fast, or they were born 
here on this earth while consciously they were consciously they're on the fifth dimension and they were never taught properly how to handle that type of energy so you see people uh you know talking to themselves and as they're talking and you listen to them for those of you who know them they're talking to people you've never met that you know they never or at least you think you they're never met or they're talking to people of past events and things like that and so a time perspective that also deals with the fifth dimension now we people who are not technically diagnosed with schizophrenic tap into this fifth dimensional energy when we daydream we daydream only about a past pre past or a present possible future um, that's tapping into the fifth dimension uh, when you give readings and see possible futures for people that's or giving past reasons that's tapping into um, it is tapping into the Kasha records, but it's also the Kasha records have different layers to it. It's also part of the fifth dimension. So basically, fifth dimension is just different perspectives as well as being able to tap into um, different times, time zones. Because when you understand time, you know we're taught that time is linear, but time is actually circular and it also collapses on itself. If that makes sense. So when you understand that, you can go to when you tap to the fifth dimension, you go into the zero point time reference, which is basically no time at all, and from there you can see uh, or tap into different eras, basically, and get different pieces of information. And a lot of this is done through meditation, or again, daydreaming is a form of meditation. Most people don't tell you that it is a form of meditation, and you can see different glimpses, and you can pick information from the past to help you with the future, or you can see different perspectives and pick which perspective you think will be the best for you or that you want to participate in. And you can also quit that perspective at any time and switch to a new one. So I hope that helps in understanding the different dimensions. Um, it's not really as hard as people try to make it seem. Uh, everybody has the ability to do it. Everybody, most, most, of you, most of us have daydreamed at some point in life, but we just didn't understand it. That's tapping into the fifth dimension. So everybody has done it at some point in time. Uh, so I hope that's, that helps. Um, if not, <laughs> ask me some more questions or, you know, anything. And if anything you'd like me to talk about more, just um, inbox me, email me, or ask me a question about it. And if I know, if I know, because I am not the end-all, be-all, I can only tell you what I know. If I know, or I can only tell you my theories on it. So if I know, if I have a theory on it or an ideology behind it, I'll share mine with you. Uh, other than that, everybody stay blessed and peace.